on a quiet spring day in 1607. Three English ships, the Susan Constant, the Godspeed, and the Discovery, reached the New World carrying 144 people. These adventurous people spent more than four months at sea on ships no bigger than a large yacht. They braved hunger, disease, and loneliness to reach a place they had never been before. They certainly had no idea that 400 years later, the land they came to would become the United States of America. Welcome to the historic triangle in the Commonwealth of Virginia, where the United States of America began. Our journey begins in 1607 with the first landing at Cape Henry. It is here where the settlers first stepped into a world of Native American Indians, new habitat, new resources, and a new climate. We'll also visit 18th century Williamsburg, witness the site of the Revolutionary War victory in Yorktown, and head to the Jamestown settlement where our brave Englishmen made their home. So here we are at historic Jamestown. Jamestown is actually divided up into two separate venues. The first venue is here, historic Jamestown. This is where the ships actually landed. A little bit farther down, we have the Jamestown settlement, which is the, where the ships are currently moored. That's their home port. Now behind me, you see the statue of Captain John Smith, first governor of Virginia, and one of the first settlers that came here in 1607. At the Jamestown settlement, I walked around the Powhatan Indian village. The Powhatans were the first Native Americans that the settlers met and were instrumental in their survival. I also visited the James Fort, which showcases colonial life in the 1600s through both static displays and historical interpreters. Because of the threat of attack from the Spanish Navy, British settlers built a fort in order to protect themselves along the James River right here. Currently, a fort is being rebuilt in order to match the specifications that archaeologists believe match the same fort that was built in the 1600s. Historic Jamestown is also the site of a constant archaeological dig. More than 200,000 artifacts have been recovered that date from both before and after the settlers' establishment. So here we are in 1774 Williamsburg so to speak. What I mean is, is that for every day of the week, Colonial Williamsburg interpreters act like it's a different year. So even though it's Friday 2007 for the rest of us, for the costume interpreters, they are going to act like it's 1774 in terms of dress, in terms of historical events that took place during this year. Today, the colony held a mock trial to settle local disputes, and yours truly got to serve as a judge. I don't get it. I was a judge. How'd this happen? Colonial America ended when General George Washington led troops to victory over the British here at the Yorktown battlefield setting the stage for a new nation. Free is a good thing, and that's the cost of the self-guided driving and walking tour of the Yorktown battlefield. I roamed this expansive site by foot and car to catch glimpses of where General Washington and the colonial and French troops defeated General Cornwallis and the stunned British forces. The Yorktown Victory Monument is also at the battlefield. It was built to commemorate the victory and the sacrifices made to earn it. The historic triangle in the Commonwealth of Virginia is a rich mixture of the past and the present, equipped with interpreters and historians who are ready to make the history come alive. What a unique experience it is to step back in time and see what life was like hundreds of years ago. It's adventurous, it's educational, it's pretty good exercise, but most of all, it's great fun. Thank you.